introducing windows server 2016 ashirka waxaan ku baranayna server iska edition iska oo ku soo kala baxay hardware requirement ka server ko oo leeyahay siyaabaha kala duwan oo installation ka loo sameeyo sida server ka remotely loo maamulo iyo sida powershell loogu manage gareeyo server iskaaga iyo wax ala wixii ka dambeeyay server 2008 features oo lagu soo daray windows server 2012 iyo 2016 marka aan ku hormarno qaybta editions ka ayaa wuxuu ku soo kala baxaa server 2016 door edition oo halkan nooga muuqda midka koowaad ayaa wuxuu yahay essential oo waxyaalo badan oo features ka mooto waxaan ugu xiga standard standard ka iyo data center ku labada aad iyo aad aan ku oo la isticmaalo enterprise ka lagu isticmaalo waxa kale oo jira microsoft hyper v server 2016 iyo waxa kale oo jira labadan oo OEM ahaan u soo baxaan oo specific hardware lagu soo saaro storage ka ah marka hadaan labadan fiirino maadaama aad iyo aad labadan aan arki doono ayaa waxay kala yihiin data center ka iyo standard ka labadaas markii aan installation ka aan gaarno ayaan ku arki doonaa in screen kan la kala soo saaro sida aan u rabno in installation kan la weydiiyo markaa sababtoo ah sida aan u rabno in installation ka ayaa waxay kala tahay ama server core ama desktop experience marka waa u tagi doonaa oo ina in kor dhaco ma rabo waxa kale oo xiga hardware requirement hardware requirement ka server ka minimum markaan ka hadlayno ayaa horta waxa loo baahan yahay architecture x64 oo 32 bit ma oo super gareeyo ama x86 midka u taqaanid ba waxa loo baahan yahay processor speed 1.4 gigahertz ku socda waxa kale loo baahan yahay ram memory oo 512 ma umaleynaayo laakiin server ina 512 ku ran gareey doontid laakiin waa minimum taas un ogaaw waa bare minimum ka lagu install gareey karo laakiin lagu maran gareey karo iyo hard drive space waxa loo baahan yahay 32 gigabyte balse sida oo minimum oo kan u yahay ayuu wuxuu leeyahay maximum maximum kiisa ayaa wuxuu super gareeyaa server 2016 ilaa iyo 640 logical processors iyo wuxuu kaloo super gareeyaa 4 terabyte of ram memory ayuu super gareeyaa marka speed ka iyo waxyaalaha oo qaban karo ayaa aad iyo aad u badan sababtoo ah hadirtan hadii lagu yiraahdo server wata 4 terabyte ayaa jira waxa isla leedahay waxaan wax aqliga galayo maaha laakiin waa ay dhici doonta mar dhow aan dheereen sababtoo ah hadirtan hadii aad isticmaalaysid cloud technology sida Amazon web server iso kale ama hadii aad isticmaalaysid Microsoft Azure waxaad samayn kartaa ina 1 terabyte RAM memory inaad ka ijaarato labada service hadda aan soo sheegay kadib aad saas u isticmaasho laakiin isticmaalka aad isticmaalaysid will be waste of resources ee noqonay maahane ma ka faa'iideysanaysid Microsoft tiba hore waxay u sameeyeen hadda kor inay ku ran gareeyaan 3000 oo nano server isa oo virtual machine isa server wata 1 terabyte waana shaqey 3000 oo machine hal mar ran gareeyaan marka waa la sameyn kara hadii aad u haysato resource ga hadda u haysato waxa kale oo noogu xiga waa installation options ka installation options ka markaad sameynaysid waxa lagu weydiinaya ma desktop experience ba rabtaa mise server core aya rabtaa waa labadaas ama ha ahaado standard edition ama ha ahaado data center edition firshinka ay in install green server ka labada waa la imaada markii aan practically aan u sameynayna casharkan casharkan noogu xiga ayaan arki doona sida nalo weydiinayo iyo mid aan dooranayno waxa kale oo sameyn karta option u leedahay server ka in ay remotely aan manage gareeyso sababta a server ka hadaa in install gareeyso as a server core ma kortegi kartido ma aad maamuli karto waa maamuli karta hadaa rabtid laakiin waa wax graphical user interface ma oo wato oo wax oo wata ho kaliya waa command line marka waxaad sameyn karta in aad tools kan aa u isticmaasho sa ugu maamusho remotely oo waxa kamida rsat oo loo soo gaabsaday remote server administration tool oo waa server manager ka waxa kale oo sameyn karta ina powershell ahaan aad ku manage gareyso remotely waxa kale oo sameyn karta remote shell inaad isticmaasho ssh waxa kale oo sameyn karta rdb remotely ina desktop ahaan aad u soo gashid waxa kale oo ku maamuli karta group policy server ka remotely laakiin nano server hadaa isticmaalaysid kuma maamuli karto group policy in kasto hadirtan koorsadan aan ka heli doonin nano server iyo sida loo isticmaalo iyo sida loo install gareeyo sababta ah Microsoft way ka bixisay certification kan balse waa sameyn kartaa inaad Google gareeyso oo cilmigaas aad sii raadsato hadaa rabtid inaad sii duruxsato in kasto aad arkaynin meel dambe oo lagu isticmaali doono nano server taas oo dhan laakiin waxa ka xigta waa in firewall ka environment igaas aad joogtid waa in loo ogolaada in aad remotely aad wax ugu soo xirmi kartid sababtoo ah hadaad joogto goob shaqo goobta shaqadana waxaan ognaa in firewall iyo security-du hay hay 
waxa loo baahan yahay in loo ogolaado remotely in server kaas loogu soo xirmo hadana remotely aan loogu soo xirmin aan loo ogolaanin marna wala gama yaab in lagu soo xirmo sababtoo ah server ku by default ayuu wuxuu u yahay secure waxa kale ku maanis gareey kartaa server kaaga waa powershell powershell na waa script language oo aad iyo aad u awood badan waana ku baran doona koorsadan balse in depth mu u baran doono waxyaalaha aan administrator ahaan aan u baahanahay inaan ogaanaa ogaanayna balse hadda u baahantahay inaad powershell barato waa koorsa gooni ah waay oo waxa u baahantahay dadaal gooni iyo waqti gooni ay u baahantahay inaad geliso laakiin hadaad server administrator aan baad ku shaqeynaysid adaa baran doontid sababtoo ah maalin kasta saad u isticmaalaysid ayay gacantaadu la qabsanay waxaan kaloo noogu xiga waxyaalaha lagu soo kordhiyo serverka markii laga hadlayo ilaa 2008 kii server 2012 waxa lagu soo diray ayaa waxay ahayd in work folders lagu soo diro DHCP file over lagu soo diro IP address management lagu soo diro direct access control lagu soo diro data deduplication lagu soo diro storage ka lagu soo diro iyo domain controller iyo virtualization of the domain controllers waxa lagu soo diray baa waxay tahay server 2008 wixii ka dambeeyay marka server 2012 iyo server 2012 R2 way la socdeen waxaan aan sheegayo dhan oo featureisa features ka marka la socday server 2012 iyo wixii ka dambeeyay ayaa waxay ahaayeen features ka la socda Windows Server 2016 hadii aan fiirino marka waxyaalaha ku cusbaa Windows Server 2016 ayaa waxa ka mid ah nano server containers ayaa ka mid ah oo baran doono doc support ayaa ka mid ah oo baran doono waxa ka mid ahaayo kale hyper v iyo storage clusters ayaa ka mid ah hot add and remove virtual memory ayaa ka mid ah iyo network adapters oo machine kiyo daaran in laga bixi karo lana geli karo waxa lagu soo daro kale nested virtualization oo aad u isticmaali doona sababta labis ka aan sameyn doono dhan wixii ku dhisan yihiin waa nested virtualization powershell direct ayaa lagu soo daray waxa kale oo lagu soo daray shielded virtual machines oo containers ka lagu soo daray windows defender ayaa lagu soo daray waxa kale oo lagu soo daray oo server kan ka hadlayna windows defender site ka waxa kale oo lagu soo daray storage space direct ayaa lagu soo daray storage replica ayaa lagu soo daray remote desktop services microsoft passport Azure AD support ayaa lagu soo daray iyo waxa kale lagu soo daray privilege access management marka features kan hadirtaan waa features aad server ka saa u dhex gasho aad brand doontid laakiin hadirtaan aniga one by one ina u kor istaago criteria ka koorsadan barashadeeda ayaa ka mid ah ina one by one u kor istaago idin sheego waxay tahay laakiin koorsadan oo dhan waxay ku saabsan tahay inaan barano wax alla wixii features oo halkan ku yaala marka hadaan magaca sheegay oo ka gudbay waxba ka walwalin waan no imaan doonta ayadoo faahfaahsan